Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Let's start our workshop. Put some pluses into the comments so I can see that you can hear me well, see my screen. And we'll start our lesson for today. We have a little delay, so I'll see your comments a little later, like in uh, 30 seconds or so. Uh, today we are going to work on beautiful bedroom and a little story about it, how to best create some shots and stuff okay some pluses here that's good my name is Irena Palakova I'm the author of the course of beginners on render camp if you don't know if you're new uh, welcome if you're not new welcome anyway uh, you can also share uh, the link for this web sh um, workshop on your social media you also can add some likes to this video and subscribe to the channel if you still haven't do that because we have a lot of beautiful and cool tutorials and we do them all the time so you will find a lot of uh, interesting information on this channel so welcome uh, let's get started um, as I said today we are going to do uh, bedroom so the main issue with bedroom um, usually it's not a super big space right and People always confuse how uh, to catch the best frame of it, especially for the photographers, which is uh, done not having like much tools and they try their best to uh, catch as much as they can. So if you can see some shots from the photographers, uh, for example, he tried and usually uh, you can see a lot, a lot of uh, shots which is like half of the uh, bed, half of the uh, side table and so but it's all good, it's all good like an extra uh, frames for the bedroom so all fine and also when you starting to create your bedroom always search for the reference uh, which is uh, fit to your bedroom that you're going to create for example you have a huge window so you need to search a reference with a huge window you have a small ones search with the small ones so it will fit the most for you and you will see how the light is working uh, also search for the uh, color theme for your bedroom for example you want to create blue bedroom so you need to search blue bedroom so you will see which colors are the best for it and when you finally find your main reference you can start create your own and you can see like a small area but it looks very very artitious and uh, nice and beautiful if, I'm, if the camera is a little further and you can see some piece of the door it's cool huh so search for different frames search a lot of reference always you have a, like have a folder with like huge amount of the reference and it will help you a lot to create your own cool shots and uh unlike like photographer you have way more um advantages to create uh cool shots because for example you can hide the wall you can cut the wall you can do whatever you want you can hide objects you can um move it um photographer not able to move the wall well maybe if he will use some hammer but probably customer won't um be really happy with this decision of him so you can see like beautiful nice shots which will um complete uh, all the room of your uh, bedroom scene okay so uh, you can see that you can do like shots from the right shots from the left from the side um, you can see like the camera uh, going directly to the window and the best light is from 90 degrees so try to catch this kind of angle of your camera you can show some details of the bedroom so many many ways how you can show the um, uh, room by you you can show some details you can use depth of field to blur the front side of the camera or if you want to uh, blur the further side so up to you what exactly you want to show and create different uh, frames even if you have like extremely minimal bedroom if you add a little of the details and you will uh, detailed uh, work with them um, your bedroom will be perfect and 
we coming closer to our bedroom, uh, which we have with the open door. So nobody said that you're not able to go further from the room, right? And you can move your camera further to see like even the piece of the wall of the other room or more of the room or even more further further and see the sound of the pieces in the other room so all up to you what exactly you want to show um so today we going to work with this bedroom um i add the links in description so you can find it but um there mostly will be like um only walls doors ceiling floor uh, because mostly I use the um, ready-made models, but I put the links where you can find it or you can fill up a room with your own um, furniture. So up to you what exactly you want to do, but the start a scene you can already download and try it, but not now, better to watch all workshop and after I will finish you can uh, watch the record and do uh, the same. So I'm really happy that you all join and we slowly can move to 3ds max and i'm begging you please all the questions keep till the end of the webinar so i will uh, tell you the main topic and after that i will answer all your questions okay i hope it's clear the record of the will be, um, of this workshop uh, will be well if nothing happened but usually all fine so you can watch it again uh, whenever you want. Okay, let's get started. I'll move this picture to the left. So have on my view and we can slowly move to 3ds Max. So here we go. Our scene. Uh, one thing about floor generator. Um, I used uh, this pattern uh, for the front uh, floor. It's hairborne. Um, but it's only available in full version of floor generator. So if you don't have the full version, probably it won't be here and you will need to create another one or uh, find the full version of uh, floor generator. If you don't know where to download that, I can uh, give you a link in the end of the class. Just ask me the question. Um, here we go. Um, for instance, I'm going to use mm, RDR map not from um, Polyheaven as usual. I found a nice um, RDR map on uh, Textures.com. It has nice blue sky, uh, blurry sun, so it will nice soft light in our room. Um, and you can download it for free, like small size if you want to, or you can buy them a bit bigger if you want to, but usually small size 2000, 1000, it should be enough for the lighting, so it's fine. Okay, well, let's edit. I'm going to open render setup, scene, single map, none, and we, since we are working in uh, Corona render, I'll select Corona bitmap. Don't confuse with general bitmap because you will need to set some extra settings to Customize the um, HDR map, so select current bit map, and the map is here. Open it. I'll move it into material editor in case we need to uh, customize it. So I'll move it as instance instance because if you uh, use as copy, you all your changes won't be applied to the render. So instance when you move it to material editor. And I'll create the base material for all our objects. So I need um, Corona Legacy MTL. I'll select it all. Control A to select with shortcuts and apply it. And let's add some reflection. Glossing is lower. Well, all the same as we do at the beginning always. Um, reflection color, well, middle gray is fine. Uh, color. Well, probably a little darker um, since the middle color is 90. Um, our room is quite light, so probably 100 should be enough. Okay, with these settings we can start interactive render and let's see what we got. Okay, ooh, super dark, but that's fine. Also, I need to log this viewport 
full render uh, if I want to switch in between other viewports. So open render setup and click here. Okay. I immediately can increase exposure. And yeah, hair and fur not apply the base material because you need to uh, move this material into the hair and fur. Well, we can do that, not a problem. I just need to select it and find it. Okay, hair and fur, nice. Um, here I need to find custom shader, apply shader, and now from material editor move um, to the non button as instant as well. So all changes will be on this material as well. Okay. And yeah, uh, we can hide the glass from the door um, or we can apply glass material up to you. If you apply glass, it will take a little more uh, time to render it. So it's fine. Um, if you can able if not you can just hide it and then um, unhide all and customize the material in the very very end uh, when you almost finish your picture so up to you what you exactly want to do but um, i will apply some uh, glass i think so i'll create new material uh, i'll make just basic uh, diffuse black reflection uh, one refraction one and i need to select it it's a um, separated object, so you can just uh, select it. Just make sure that it's a glass. But probably... Okay, let me see. Not so easy. Okay, I'll select uh, these all parts. Go to isolate, so it will be easier to select glass. Yeah, with one click, glass two, glass one. You can uh, press F4 to see the edges, which... Uh, exactly you selected and now I can apply glass material and isolation and back to camera okay that looks better also I don't want this background on my window so I'll just uh, change overrides uh, since we have glass in here uh, we can just click refraction so it will change in the glass uh, we don't see like um, straight away this RGM map so it visible only in glass so a refraction override and here I'll select white color uh, guys all questions in the end I will show you my configuration of computer no worries okay next one I want to add some translucency color for curtain so it will give me more light in my room okay uh, let's create new material Select curtain. Assign. And I'll just increase a little of translucency. Oh, well, maybe a little more. A one. And one more thing I want to do because um, it gives me extra... Um, shadows and not all of, uh, light coming through my curtains so you can do next if you have some issue and not enough light from outside through your curtains so you just need to select it right click object properties and oh okay and then click these boxes i thought i have some shadows okay let me hide it and let's see oh well yeah it's prevent, but not that badly. Okay, I can try with these boxes. Ah, yeah. So, here we go. Uh, when these boxes are ticked, um, less light. When untick, it will be uh, more light in your room. Okay, that's fine. And now I can move my HDRI map. So I want more light in my room, especially on this wall. So let's rotate it. 50, 100. Oh, where is my light? It's almost disappeared. And the whole room are green now. Okay, that's a bit better. 
and yeah here we go that looks nice i didn't turn off the um, interactive noise so you can see it's like extremely fast result uh with the noise in interactive render oh, and i think that's fine in this case when we'll start with work with material probably i will turn it off but for now i think it's all right so 300 uh, it's a bit darker 280 i think 250 was nice 60 70 yeah something from this i think will work fine okay should i increase no not that much okay that's all right and from this point we can start and apply uh, main colors to our room um so first what we're going to do we have a lot of white objects so ceiling um doors even the bed uh side tables and carpet and picture all of this we can create the uh, light material or we can add some base color for all um the room i think we have some more warmer color here so it won't be like extremely white it has some saturation so yeah we can apply some color first and then um add more lighter color so um, more yeah i think it could be like that Okay, looks good. Um, now I'll just copy this material and let's select all white objects. Okay, let me um, maximize the viewport and select it all. Three, four, five doors, uh, bed. Well, I can select probably almost all of the parts. Okay, let me pan zoom closer so we'll see what I'm selecting select mm, carpet what else well the lamp could be well it has like part of the black but we will customize it a little later that's fine and i think that's it let me see looks like okay i'll close render setup so i won't open it all the time i sign new material and now we can do way lighter well not extremely light remember that the most white color that you can apply it's 180 not more and yeah a little less and definitely we don't need that much saturation right so it'll be less oh i forgot one more ceiling because we have two of them so i need to assign for it as well oh yeah way better also we can apply this white uh, material to the hair and fur again so they will be different uh, already materials oh yeah change it time to time that's fine some movements some practice always good why i'm always use material legacy mtl because i love it it's easy to customize and it has everything that I need. Okay. Enough. I think that's enough. Maybe a little even. Okay, let's do 180. Maximize it. Okay. Looks fine. Um, <laughs> okay, probably we need to add some contrast. Yup, nice. Okay, and let's add more colors. Um, next, I'll probably... Floor would be nice, because it uh, takes a huge area of our bedroom. So, yeah. Uh, let's do floor color. Uh, I need to select it all. Assign new material, and let's see what do we need. We need a lot, a lot of saturation for the floor, and so don't be scared to add it, um, because it has a lot of color. Why not? Why not? So, definitely even more. I can create regions, so it will be render even more faster, but probably we need a little of red color. Mm, and even more saturation. Yeah, I think that looks better and 
maybe darker. I don't want to add like extremely dark color, but I think that looks nice. Maybe even more saturation. Okay, that looks fine. Um, next, black color. So I'm going to use the same material. I don't care which one I'm going to copy because it's just black. Um, I just need to select the object that will be with this material. So lamps, I'll assign uh, armchair, but it's group. I need to open it and select just legs. Okay, assign. Um, next, legs for bed. As, again, it's group. I'll open it with shortcut and select just legs. Oh. Okay, so it's one object. When you have one object, you can do next. Sometimes it's not working, but super, super rare. Usually it works fine. Uh, so open edit poly, um, editable poly, uh, and element, just select legs. Uh, well, in some cases you can detach and apply material that you want. In some cases you can uh, do like um, I do now. So select with element and assign material just for the legs. Uh, in the other part, still will be uh, white colors. You can see, like, now it's like the same color as the floor. Uh, lamp, well, lamp a little later. I'll just change color for the black and then we'll go to the lamp, I think. Okay, region. Um, I don't need that much saturation. It's just black color. A little um, of color would be nice uh, because. It always accepts some color from um, outside, from the room. So with reflection, some color will <laughs> fly to your object. So that's fine to have some situation, not extremely like black color will be just black color. No, there will be some colors other. Um, and probably even more darker. And I think looks good, but I don't really like the warmness of the room. It's like extremely warm. Um, a lot of green color on the ceiling. Um, we can make like in general all the frame colder. Um, just with the white balance, need to lower, and your uh, render will be more colder. So let's try to do that. Oh yeah. That's way better. Even like that. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, I think that's fine. And now I need some color for uh, back wall because now it's not enough. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I forgot the white for the painting. I'll select it and apply white color. And I hope I haven't forgot this one, right? Okay, that's fine. And uh, let's go next. Next, we'll we can add black color for the lamp. Uh, so it's one object with uh, different IDs on it. Um, what I can do with that? I can uh, make a copy of the white material. Select lamp. Assign. And now I just need to change the type of the material. So right click, change material map type and select multi sub object. Um, keep old material and make a copy. So there will be two of IDs, uh, one for the top and another for the uh, bottom part. So the bottom part, I believe it's a second number, um, but let me check. I select the second material and just select, oh no. So the black one is the first one. I need to select the first one and Actually, I can just make a copy of the black material. Why not? Why would I customize it again, right? Oh, yeah. And this one just delete. Nice. Okay. Well, for this ones, we can uh, immediately add some more reflection. So it will be more shiny. Um, let me add some 0 0.9. 
Oh, even like that, it looks good. And also I can um, make lighter reflection color. Yeah, and probably I will turn off uh, interactive render. No, because now I don't like this um, blurred parts of my object. And yeah, this one is way better. Okay, and for the light, I can do the same. So 0 0.9 and reflection color uh, lighter. Okay, it looks fine. Let's do uh, colors for walls. Um, for that, I will need my base material. And also, it has two colors. So, uh, one for the back wall and for the all others, the way lighter, probably the same as a uh, ceiling, maybe a little darker. So, we can do the same. I'll just need, again, change material map type um, to multi sub object and keep old material. And also I can make a copy of the white as we used for uh, ceiling and doors and for the second number. And I should be fine. Just need to apply for the walls. So select them, assign, and yeah, here we go. We got the light color on the back. And yeah, it's a bit too light. Uh, we can make it a little darker. Uh, so diffuse color. Maybe 170 will be enough. Yeah, just a bit darker. That's fine. Also, we can apply the um, white material for uh, the holder of the curtain. Just need to select it again. This one, I mean. And just main white color will be applied. Yeah, way better. Um, probably we need to change a little bit the back wall. Uh, maybe more color is needed. So let me check. Color. Um, don't want to add too much the color, but some would be nice, I guess. Or maybe not. Maybe later. Well, no, I'll back to 100. Maybe just a bit lighter would be nice. Okay, I think that's enough. Maybe even just a little less. I have to save for later. Okay, that's looks good. Um, also, we can apply some color for uh, blankets and um, back pillows. I'll just copy the same material as we have for the floor and select these objects. So one, not this one, the back ones. And a sign. Oh, my render stopped. I need to restart it. Mm, yeah, uh, almost good. Probably just a little lighter. And more red. I think would be nice. I want to add too much, but some of the color we need definitely. Okay, that's cute. Um, more lighter stool in front of the bed. I uh, can make another copy, select it, and assign. So it will be just lighter and more yellow. less saturation we don't need that much color for it you can see that it's more yellow uh, wait a little more saturation so just work with these little parameters to left to the right to the left to the right all the time till you get the same or the result that you wanted 
Oh yeah, that looks fine. Um, but probably I want to do in general something with the picture because um, it's not super exciting for now. I want to add more extra light parts. So oh, why I do have a sets odd? That's why probably because like extremely dark now. Uh, I don't know why it's turning on. Oh yeah, <laughs> even without it, it's like way better. But now um, lack of. The contrast. Okay, so we can add some contrast with the help of um, filmic mapping. Okay, and here you can find the rich shadow. Yeah. Oh, now I, I believe that it's a bit too much color on my floor, but well, I always can recustomize it if we need it. If we need. Uh, what else we can do? We can, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can curves, tone curves. Well, let's do tone curves. Um, so highlights we don't need because we don't have any of overexposure, so we don't need to ex increase it or reduce it. So we can try to work with lights, but don't do like a lot. Now with these parameters, just a bit, some of those, some of those, why not, shadows, oh yeah, I need more shadows, so you go to negative amount, and yeah, way better, one click, few parameters, and it looks much, 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 much nicer, um, okay, so for these tables I can add also uh, more reflection. So I'll make a copy, um, select them. We don't need uh, today to create like a lot um, extremely complicated materials. Probably we'll do just a few of them because even with the colors, it already looks good. Um, maybe just even lower exposure because I can see the door is like extremely, extremely. Uh, light so yeah we don't need to do a lot of movements today okay so i wanted to add more reflection for side tables since um, it's just one parameter we don't need to do much with that that's why i just immediately want to customize it so it will look nicer And yeah, I think even like that, just more of reflection on this area and it looks good. Okay, next what we can do, we can add more color for back of the armchair. Need to select it. Um, I'll probably make a copy of the base material because it's almost the same as we need to get, um, just a little lighter, a uh, little more saturation. So increase it. Let me see. Oh yeah, way more. <laughs> Maybe lighter. Hello, who just joined? Hello, hello. Okay. Nice, nice. Perfecto, I must say. Um, and the last main color is for uh, plants. So another copy of the base material, select plants. One, another, and I'll apply for all of them one material. So all we need is color and a little of translucency. So color will be something green and definitely darker, more saturation more saturation darker um, um look at the yucca now um probably for this one we will need to add another material because it's extremely dark with this one but for this one it looks quite nice uh maybe more yellow and yeah darker Okay, could be. Uh, let's add some 
uh, translucency, so we'll get another color. Well, probably that's too much, uh, 0 0.1. I'll copy diffuse color and paste to uh, translucency, but I need to make it lighter and probably more saturation, we'll see. So lighter for now. And the yeah, diffuse I can make even more darker. Uh, for translucency, well, that's too much. So a little darker. Um, I can move just a bit to yellow color, so it will be difference between the colors, which is a um, good and nice view of the plants. Uh, maybe even less of transition, so let me add some 006, 008. Somehow this Yuka doesn't like <laughs> transition so much, but that's fine. And I'll make a copy, another copy for second plant. Just need to assign it just for this one and make it lighter. So, um, boom, 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 diffuse, lighter. And mm, probably a little more to the green color and more translucency is needed. So 0 0.2, 0 0.5. Well, I can make it lighter, um, probably less saturation, a little darker, and I think it would be nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe the diffuse color move to the right, so it will be more greenish. And yeah, I think that's nice. Yeah, even more and darker, I suppose. And probably the translucency is um, a bit too much yellow, so I'll also move to the right to more green color. Now I can make it lighter and it should be okay. And maybe less color. Still, Yukon not super satisfied, so I'll probably make diffuse even more darker if I can. Oh yeah, that's way better. Um, maybe increase saturation. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so let's do some materials. Um, definitely, I will start with floor because it's beautiful and nice. Um, I use. CJ source uh, textures as usual because they have extremely good quality for the wooden planks. Um, so I need to select this material, make a copy because it all will be different material. One for uh, one floor generator, another for second floor generator, and um, third material just for the plank um, of the do door plank. So one, and let's start with the first one. I think as a new material. And I'm going to use, as usual, <laughs> what would like with the floor generator, because it's like same company create them, the floor generator and multi-texture, so they work together. And it's always nice to use them. So general, I need a multi-texture, <coughs> uh, manage textures. Oh, what the... I don't know what was that. <laughs> Add bitmaps, and I need to select ooh, which one. So... I believe, let me see from the folder, just in case. So for the straight planks, I used more active. Yeah, I think this ones. And for the front planks, uh, less active textures. So it will be different ones. Okay, select all of it. It takes time because textures are huge, the size of them, like extremely uh, big ones, but also the quality is very, very good. And you can render like extremely close each of the plank and it will uh, look amazing. So I need to apply to diffuse color and let's customize some color first, because definitely it's way more dark than it should be. So color correction. And then, 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 it will be lighter. So 1.2, 1.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 
game. Let me do region so it will be... Well, 4 is fine. I think maybe a little lighter. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough. And my favorite part is customized reflection because the main thing for the floor for the wooden material is a reflection. Not bump because a lot of people are still the renders and stuff. They add actually bump for the wood and that's... Mm -mm, don't do that. We don't need any bump for the um, wood. Only if is really needed when you have some holes on it, like a um, um, shader on me on mega scans, on textures comb, and there are like huge holes which you need to apply displacement, uh, bump, uh, but in this case no need bump at all, you just work with reflection. So I'll make a copy of the color correction, um, I'll make saturation minus 100 and assign to reflection color. Okay, and we'll customize on black diffuse color so you will see how reflection is works. That's the best way to see. And I will need also um, output so I can customize curve of this map. It will be easy to add some reflection wooden streaks. Um, so I need output, enable color map. And... I can come closer and see a lot of details. So far, that's definitely not enough. So I need to add point for curve, right click Bezier Smooth and move it to the light side. Join to the light side. Oh, you prefer dark side, huh? Okay, so somewhere here would be nice. Uh, yeah, even like that, it looks 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 um, way better than it was before. If you don't like the pattern of your um, wood, you always can change um, its um, placement. So you just need to go to multi texture and click on the seeds until you got. Um, wooden planks as you like so they will just change its direction until you would like it but so far i'm fine should we make it even lighter well we can why not mm. I can make it a little more contrasted and then, yeah, probably not that light. Okay, um, next one will customize glossiness, so I'll make a copy if it will work. Yeah, it works. Sometimes it's just straight curve, so you just need to reapply a new map. Uh, but so far it works fine. Reflection glossiness. Oh yeah, <laughs> now you can see extremely strong streaks. So, well, actually it's not that bad, maybe a little less uh, of influence and it should be works fine. Um, we can try and make it even more lighter, but I'm not so sure that we need to do that, but well, we can try and we'll see what we'll got. Mm, well, both of the cases could work, so just select which one you prefer. I think this one looks better, uh, but definitely I don't need that much influence of this map. It looks cool, but probably a bit too much. Well, let me add uh, back our diffuse color. So we'll see how it works with color and we'll see how strongly we need to uh, reduce influence of uh, those maps. So yeah, it's a bit too much. So I'm going uh, lower down and let me reduce 90 of glossiness. Oh yeah, probably we need to reduce a lot of it. 
not just a bit because I like the wooden streak but always good to uh, find the golden middle so 40 Let me see other side. Oh yeah, I like this one. See, even without bump, it looks like uh, it's really have some depth on this um, plank. Maybe a little a bit less. But I want some reflection more because it was beautifully with this map. But since we uh, decrease influence, I don't see that reflection on the floor anymore. Uh, but well, we can. Um, set the parameters in just in main material so i'll just increase glossiness so it will be more glossy um, the main uh, part of the floor and probably even more so 0 0.8 okay so this map work exactly with this uh glossiness parameter so when we had like fully uh, influence of this map um, this parameter didn't work so since we uh, mix them so this map work for 30 percent and now um, eight um, other 70 percent works um, this glossiness parameter so you can mix it and get exactly what you want oh so far it looks super good i like it um maybe just a bit less of reflection of fluids just a bit i think would be enough so we can 90 uh, just a little less i think would be enough um and if you want to get more a uh, light for your uh, floor since we reduce influence and our reflection color is gray this map is work exactly with the color of reflection so now we work like 80 percent of this map and just 20 percent of the color but if you will increase the uh, uh, lightness of this color we'll got more reflection so let me increase it and it's supposed to be even more glossy now oh yeah think would be nice should we increase more maybe just a bit i don't want to put like extremely like super extremely wide uh 2055 but yeah i think that's enough let me see the other side and from the camera looks good should we mix with diffuse Oh, I love this reflection. It looks extremely nice. And yeah, actually, I don't want to mix with diffuse. I love the pattern of the woods. So we can move to the next floor. Uh, well, what we can do to um, ease our work. Well, we can make a copy of the material, right? with all these parameters since we will need um, the same parameter of glossiness and color because it has same polishment polish um, parameters so for this materials it should be uh, the same also what else we can do we don't need um, multi texture because I can't delete the maps because my max and um, immediately will crash don't ever do that you can delete like all the um, all the part of these maps like if you fully delete it then it's fine if you will delete one of two maps your max um, immediately will crash so I'll, oh no 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 that's not what i want <laughs> not this material for another one um okay so i just need to delete those okay now i can order them so it will be more understandable what's going on and then we'll select another multi-texture textures so select many textures add bitmap and another planks way more smoother not the strong uh, pattern of the wood uh, we will have like you can see it still has um wooden streaks but not that strong okay and always it takes some time to upload okay now we can um 
connect to diffuse color. But we need to customize color because uh, the first one was like super dark and we customized the color. The second one is light and we need to customize the color. Always customize the color. And I need to select floor and assign material. Oh yeah, and it's too, too, too reddish. Okay, let me add color correction. And yeah, we need to make it darker. So 0 0.9. Mm, not enough. 0 0.7. And it's extremely red. So we need to move to the right to yellow parts. Mm, still not enough. That's closer one. Seven. Probably a little more darker. So zero point six. Ah, a bit too much. Um sixty five. Sixty two. Come on. I think that's okay, as I can see. Okay, let's try with the reflection. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, I can make copy of these two outputs and we'll see if it will work for our second floor. So, well, they almost the same, the first and second one. Um, one, oh, I need to make uh, color correction saturated. So don't use colored map for reflection. <laughs> work with uh, black and white ones. So reflection glossiness. Uh, okay, I can back to black color of diffuse and we'll see if the reflection is nice. I want to pan zoom in. Mm, let me see the texture again. Maybe we'll need to customize the size of it because mm, our uh, parts of wood is not too big and the textures are well quite long. Uh, well, it's not too bad, actually it could be, but probably I would like to... ...change the size of them a little bit, so we can add some um, unwrap and customize it. But, I will do two things. I will save my scene, because mm, sometimes uh, when I apply unwrap for the floor, it crashed. Time to time happens. Um, so I'll just make sure that we will start with the same point in case it will happen. And also I'll stop the render because usually it happens when the render is on. So better to stop it, apply, uh, try to customize it, see how it looks and customize it again. So I need to select it and wrap. Uh, well, yeah. Everything is disappeared, it's fine, just click somewhere. Um, I need polygons, open UV editor. Uh, we don't need um, do much, we just need to change the size. So, well, I can uh, look at this texture. Uh, it's all the same on all the parts. Um, in render it's different, but I can uh, lay on it. Okay, I need just um, scale. I can make it smaller, but definitely I will need to uh, make them longer. So I'll change the type, probably this one. Oh yeah, this one is good. And you can see the size uh, by weight, it's smaller. Okay. We can also change those if you want to. Okay, let me see what... Hmm, 
maybe maybe make it smaller bigger i'm not sure okay better to see on the radar because <laughs> this i want to tell you it's hard to say what's going on oh yeah this part looks cool i think that's enough we just need to uh, change the way to it oh yeah i think that's good let me check this part if all good oh yeah looks nice all right and let's back to our mm, i want more yellow i can see the bit too much of red color so first a little of yellow and then reflection so again select color correction and a bit more yellow color here hey i said more yeah that's right Maybe just a bit less saturation is needed, so maybe minus 10, because I can see that this one is mm, saturated quite. Or maybe we should increase saturation for this one. Oh well, so far so good. Okay, let's customize reflection. So I need to select again, um, make the fuse zero. It's like with delay, like we have on our workshop. It's need time to think to apply all my amounts. <laughs> or maybe I'm just too fast. Okay, pan zoom and we'll see. Mm, well, could be. Let's um, have a look for the glossiness. And maybe we'll customize some influence of the maps. Or maybe we can make um, this one lighter. Oh, no, it's all good. This one. We can try to make it lighter. Yeah, I think it's a bit better. Also, we can make this one lighter. Why not? Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to get. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other side. I want to see. Yeah, I think it will be nice with color. So, let's pack our color. Zero, oh, scusa, uh, level one. And yeah, looks very, very nice. And we can see the nice reflection with wooden. Some of them are not that reflective some of them more reflective and gives um such nice um feeling of the wood so you can add some comments if you like our floor and we'll go to the next one so we need to do material for these planks um, our will do the same so i'll copy this material um turn off all the maps and all I need is apply map. We're not going to use um, multi-texture because it's just box. We don't need for that multi-texture. But what I did, I did um, big texture for this wood uh, from these wooden planks of the uh, second floor. So I just combined all of them in Photoshop and got like huge and nice uh, cool texture of the wood which looks perfect and we can apply it so you can do the same if you have good quality of little planks you can combine it and create nice texture and use for a uh, different uh, wooden object which uh, would be super perfect for it and the wooden would be extremely good um, actually i can use the same color correction from the second floor maybe i will use all the maps we'll see uh, apply for it because we have the same color because we used the same uh, textures and I can assign to 
uh, diffuse color and I need to select it. Hey, listen to me. I want to select it. Okay. Assign. Oh, not this one. I just need to select material first. Assign. I don't see. Oh, well, we need some UVs here. So I'll just add basic UV map, uh, box type and customize the size. I think this one would be nice. I can uh, copy this parameter and apply for all the sides so it will be all the same. Oh, well, we can change the um, direction of the texture on the top. So I'll stop render, isolate this object. Well, we can try to change uh, first alignment if it will work good. If not, uh, we'll just rotate it. So I'll select another alignment. Mm, no not working so i'll back to that um and what can i do oh well i can add um edit poly modifier on the top of uv i can copy uv copy um now i just need to select top polygon maybe this one as well so i'll grow a bit and uh on selected polygons I can apply my copy um, my copy um, UV that I just copy so just right click and paste on the top um, well let me press F2 on polygon so you will see how it works and I'll back extremely on a UV so you can see this sign that will steal on this polygon and it works only with this polygon uh, now I can open UV go to gizmo and just relate to 90 degrees with um, angle snap so it will be easier and that what we got if you don't like it you always can move it somewhere and got the pattern that you uh, would like something like that would be nice i select the one that doesn't have any tiles and yeah here we go looks cool um if you scare to change all parameters for example you want to keep it but somehow you will want to back to uh, edit poorly change something and in this case um, you can change uvs so it will just disappear from the top um, the best way is just um, convert to editable poly and it will keep all the uvs on all the sides of the um, object so just right click uh, convert to an editable poly now it all collapsed and it will be all on the right places and isolate and I'll apply just the same um, the same 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 maps for this material so I need this one this three maps I'll make a copy I'll just select the frame it will be easier um, with shift I'll make a copy I don't need this multi texture so I'll delete from this uh, color correction and now I can uh, what I can I can assign bitmap right and it will be all the same so this one for reflect color we can start to render so we'll see something finally oh and it's all disappear because we're in pan zoom and we're not able to see anything. I'll make a region and plug in the second one. Okay. So what we got so far? Okay, that looks nice. Um, <laughs> I think we should do carpet because it has some uh, pattern nice. Um, and probably we'll do one or two materials more. Um, everything else, like in this case, is like 
immediately looks good. If you want to add more details, you have all links which I applied for this workshop and you can do it by yourself and trying uh, to work uh, with your own uh, decisions. Um, but I think we'll do just a few more materials so you will uh, definitely know how to create them. Um, yeah, I'll start with carpet. I just need to select it. Oh, that's not carpet material. Uh, yeah, this one I'll make a copy because um, I want to make it own material. Guys, keep your questions please till the end and I will answer a little later. Um, just make a few more materials and I'll answer to all your questions, okay? So, um, I need to add some nice realistic pattern for this uh, carpet. So, um, I usually use uh, bump, I usually use uh, displacement um, and the good maps uh, I found on Quixel, they have a lot of uh, brick uh, shaders. For example, uh, this one specific I will use for this carpet and uh, you can see like it's even carpet carpet. So I'm going to use uh, bump and displacement from this shader and it should give me a nice uh, result and give some bumps for it. Okay, so I need to find those textures. <laughs> Not that easy. Okay, let me see the name. PGQ. Yeah, PGJ. Ugh. Let me see where is it. I think this one, yeah. No. Not this one. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. That the one that I'm going to use. So first, mm, probably displacement. We'll try to customize. And yeah, I need to apply uh, Corona displacement modifier. I need to add this map uh, custom no map uh, instance. Uh, if you want to see how this map looks on your object, you can apply also into material and show in the um, viewport. And yeah, probably it's too big. Let me isolate the object and we'll see. Ah yeah, that's huge. And on the side is doesn't look so good, I think. So yeah, we can add uh, before current displacement some UV and customize the size. So box type, I'll make it smaller, probably something like that would be nice. Maybe the size of the height bigger. And yeah, this one should looks better. Maybe even smaller on the weight. Okay, let me see. from the camera, not from perspective. Well, the amount it has. Oh, actually it's... It's already looks good. It's not uh, amount by default. Um, usually it's like zero, 01 or something. But so far it exactly the same that we need to get. I don't even want to change it. Probably it's something from previous work. But yeah, minus 5, 20, I think that's good. I can try to use like in minus level, uh, minus 20. Um, sometimes it works good, sometimes not so. Um, if you want to keep this, oh no, <laughs> definitely not works good in this case. Uh, so it was minus 5, I'll keep minus 5. Hello, hello, just join. Yeah, it looks good, I don't want to change anything like perfect one, so minus 5, 20, good one. And now I'll add some uh, bump, so I'll make a copy and select bump. I can just delete the part of the name, I said the part of the name, not the whole one, and select normal. So it will be show me all the list and I can select normal one, open, uh, but I need to plug in into Corona uh, normal map. 
to normal and add gamma to input plug into the bump I can turn off displacement and see how the bump works Ugh, but I think it's a bit too much of it so I'll make it less actually we don't really need it I think because um, displacement by its own worked really well but yeah a little of bump could be uh, half of it um, I'll turn on current displacement again Sometimes in interaction render it's not showing the main picture so you need to or or star or start the production render to see the real result especially for more old version of corona Actually I don't like the bump I'll probably delete it it gives like weird result Okay let me delete it at all Yeah just displacement way more better I don't want this map okay no bump for this one okay now I need to add some texture for diffuse color um, you can find the link for this carpet um, actually I used this one uh, but today I found a uh, better quality of this texture it's a bit more darker but I don't think that's its issue but the texture looks way better uh, the quality is bigger I mean the size of it is bigger that's why I'm going to use this one so always uh, try to search um, as bigger texture as you could um, and then apply especially if the objects are super close to the camera uh, because if not um, the pattern will be extremely pixeled okay the size of it like super big uh we can change tiling uh, actually do we have some frames yeah we have some white frames should we keep it or not it's actually from the carpet oh yeah it could be i think i don't think we should cut it okay that's fine uh, but the size of it I want to change uh, you can change in tiling you can add another UV map up to you uh, which do you mm, uh, prefer uh, but I think in this case it would be easier to customize another UV map uh, since we already have one UV map for this map um, and if we change it uh, to customize the main color it will change also displacement map size uh, we don't need it because we already got fixed size uh, so we need to change the map channel for this map and apply another uh, UV map and with another map channel so select bitmap uh, change map channel it will disappear because it has zero UVs and now I can apply another UVV map with the same map channel so for example if you apply like a um, map channel 3 you need to apply uh, for this UVV map a map channel 3 as well but in our case it's just number two we don't have <laughs> many of them so it should be nice okay let me see the size of the texture what it should be actually it could be even like that I don't need to change anything more okay let me see closer how it looks on the sides but yeah uh, this uh, border of the carpet looks and work really well I like it and yeah it's quite cool uh, all we need is customize the color so we don't need that color it also we didn't probably will make it lighter way more lighter so another color correction uh, less color and lighter so that's probably all we need for this carpet and it looks really nice um, the one thing that probably I will change um, the color of the hair and fur make it a little darker because it's like super white uh, if you want to make um, the lines of the carpet more visible more strong you also can change curve um, you don't need to uh, apply extra output map you can do it in the same bitmap map so you can select it go to output enable color map um, at point as usual and just make this map contrasted so the dark color will be more visible and even like that it looks way more better than it was before right 
yeah, I think it works really well. If you want to make it even more dark, you can put it down and you will got it more darker. Okay, the hair and fur color. So we apply, I don't remember which one we applied. I think it was base or white color, I think. Uh, I just need to find it. Hair and fur, okay. Um, material editor, drag this material is instance and make a copy and again i can move <laughs> another material for this one but now it will be a one material just for the fur and i need to make it darker uh so 70 50 40 uh, maybe a bit more color because it's too gray for now compared to the carpet and yeah even like that looks nice let's end pan zoom and yeah okay i think we should apply wooden texture for this tool and make a glass because it's not like just clear glass it's like uh made glass with some mm, some structure some um, depth of it so we can do the same uh, boom, 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 boom. okay stool stool actually I can use the same uh, texture that used for this plank right so all I need actually I can make the whole copy cheating here <laughs> and apply for the stool but also it has uh, some uh, golden uh, metallic parts that we will do as well uh, it's one object so it has different ids if you come closer you go to element you can select all these parts and you will see uh, in this tab that it's uh, um, um, it has a number two id for these uh, parts and number one for the main wooden parts so I made copy I can immediately change to uh, all material to multi sub object mm, keep old so first one is wood the second one is uh, metallic and we can like super fast create metallic material and then customize the wood um, I'll probably turn off maps for now so it won't distract us with the main um, from the main color and I will customize the metallic one so start as we did with glass black diffuse reflection one um, and for metalness you need to add Fresnel and assign material oh why it's so dark oh okay mm, that's bad we had nice color for i think this one for the chair i'll plug into number one yeah this one because we don't need that dark okay uh, to add color for metal material you just need customize the color of reflection not diffuse but reflection so saturation higher and make it more yellow and lighter well it was super light okay um if you need even more lighter you can increase the amount of fresnel so if you will set for example 12 you can see that it's way more lighter and glossing is lower because we don't need like super glossy metal maybe something like that uh, and it's a bit too reddish so more yellow color well some redness is needed but probably not as much as it was let me see oh yeah that's fine um i can lower it for now because it's a bit too much yeah, yeah looks nice if i need more color i always can add 
but don't add extremely yellow color. It's not nice. Okay, and let's back to the wood. Okay, I'll keep this main base color since we customize it. I'll select our um, map for diffuse with its uh, color correction, but definitely we'll make it lighter after all. But I'll connect to diffuse color and we'll customize the um, lightness with O. Oh, and yeah, we should rotate it because the direction of the uh, wood is... Um, horizontal and we need vertical so we'll just select a bitmap we don't need to apply any um, UV since it looks fine I think um, 90 degrees by rotation and yeah that's all right um, now we need to customize the lightness of it so gamma let's back to zero oh two one not zero uh, and yeah probably lighter Ah, too greenish, so I'll back zero to hue. Uh, too reddish. <laughs> okay, two, uh, three. Mm -hmm. And lighter. I need more light. That's more or less like we had before, right? Let me compare. Oh well, even more lighter. Even more lighter we need. So gamma 2.5. Um, back saturation. Maybe even more. Just a bit. And I think that's more or less. Yeah. That's what we need to get. Beautiful. We can even make it just a bit lighter just in case okay um, <laughs> it's actually super glossy one uh, well we can uh, apply some of the maps I think from the glossiness um, <laughs> oh well why not I'll use the same maps so reflection color we'll see but we don't need like super um visible wooden streaks we um opposite need like super glossy uh polished wood but some of it could be probably I'll just make this maps way more lighter uh but well first i will add more glossiness here Good, but still not enough. Uh, okay, let me make this map lighter. So, I mean, uh, reflection curve. Mm, okay, it's a bit better, but still not enough. Okay, we can... Uh, make a double reflection for this tool since it's not enough let me delete this one i don't think that we will need it um okay right click change material map type i'll apply kernel aid mtl and we'll uh, mix two of the material one of the uh, reflection uh, um, with map on the reflection and another one with just super glossy polished um luck luck Okay, so I need to make a copy of this material. I'll make it extremely glossy, like super, super glossy, as much as I could. Um, delete map from reflection. Uh, for diffuse, I do need map. And now I can apply to layer 1 and it will um, change um, the whole material. So now we can see only the second one. Oh well. That's probably a bit too much, so glossiness uh, 0 0.9. Also, let me see the first one. The first one, oh yeah, actually it's good. Um, sometimes you can decrease uh, glossiness on the first material and on the second one make it extremely glossy and then mix it and it gives you nice reflection, double reflection. Um, but in our case, I think it's nice even have like super lot of, of glossiness uh, but yeah 
we'll definitely mix it because we don't need that much. So next step, you just select this material and um, mix it. So now it works 90% of the second material and 10% of the first one. Well, 50% of each maybe will work fine. Or maybe even more of the second one. So I can change to 16. And I think it looks nice. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, two materials. One for the painting, I think we should, because like just blanket white uh, area on the wall looks not super good. And the second one will do um, glass and i think that would be enough for today uh, i hope you're doing fine so far you can add some comments uh, how do you like this workshop don't forget to um, like this video if you enjoy it uh, we will appreciate it a lot um, so i'll select material from the viewport make a copy and assign uh, for the painting now I just need to select texture. I applied you the link for this painting. It's not too big, but since um, the picture is like extremely far, that's fine. Uh, if you want to do some close-ups for this um, scene, you also can find something else and uh, use it. So it will be on diffuse color, but you can see the frame um, because it's not on the whole texture, all the painting. So I need to view image um, and change uh, the red frames. So it will be just the area of the painting that I need. Okay, uh, but next I need to apply it. Yeah, that's fine. But one more thing, we need the uh, sides of the painting is black. And it actually would be nicer to uh, watch on this painting. So also I'll change uh, material map type to multi sub object. I think they're supposed to be ID. Yeah, it looks like it's applied. Yeah, set number for the sides and one for the painting. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Now I just need the second material, um, just the black color. So I'll make a copy. I don't need this texture deleted. I'll assign for the second number and make it black. Not extremely super dark, mm, zero black, but uh, some five, three would be nice. And one more thing that I want to add for this painting is displacement because um, now it's like super flat, but since it's like probably oil, oil uh, painting or something, you need some structure for it and it looks nicer and more realistic when you will do that. Um, so I need some, well, you can use, for example, texture from concrete, from, uh, I don't know, damaged walls, from um, stucco or something. So you should search for different option and try how it will looks on your render. Um, and let me see what do I have here. Ah, yeah, concrete. Actually, I'm going to use concrete, like super damaged texture, and I think it would be nice for it. Ah, also I have displacement. Oh, no, it's not displacement, it's roughness. Do I have displacement for it? Or maybe um, normal would be enough. Let's try. If not, we'll search. Uh, okay, maps, corona, and corona normal, apply. Add gamma and connect to normal. Okay, let me come closer so I will see. Well, even like that, it looks not too bad. Actually, we can try this roughness for displacement. It looks almost like displacement since it's like gray white. Uh, maybe it will be fine. So we won't search for different maps. Let's try, why not? So I need to select it. And roughness here. Okay, displacement. Connect as instance. Oh yeah, it's a bit too strong. So I'll turn off um, Corona Normal first. And we'll see, can we customize this uh, displacement or not? 
Um, yeah, map level probably lower. So ten, four. Let me see. Even like that probably is a bit too much, right? Okay, uh, I mean level minus one. Probably just need slight influence of this place. Oh, maybe I'll just turn off like we did with the um, carpet. Maybe we don't need it. Yeah, let's turn it off. I'm just back normal map. So we won't search for any others. Maps. Bump worked. Fine. If you want, you can increase trends. If it's not enough, you can select and then just increase trends. For example, 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 2, 3, 4. Up to you uh, what exactly you want to get. But yeah, with 2 looks pretty nice. But probably I'll lower it a little bit. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, do we need to customize color or not? It can be a little lighter and um, should be. Okay, we can make it a little lighter. Just a bit and probably just a um, little less color. Okay, so advanced, lighter. But I want to keep the pattern, like the main picture of the art, so I can uh, change the curve of it so I can see some colors there, some more darker parts, some more lighter parts. So I'm um, customize curve bit and make it just more contrasted. Oh maybe not. <laughs> maybe it was a bad idea. No, that's fine. Just less car is need and um, uh, color is need. I just want this part uh, be visible but less color would be nice okay that's good and the last one is glass so um, we need for it uh, is some bump so it will be more structured and, and yeah we'll see so here is material of our glass, like basic material. Um, next, I'll select texture for the bump. Mm, I think this one. Yeah, this one is from Textures Comb, just regular texture, not shader, just just the texture of the glass, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to use this one for the bump. So bump, hey, come here. Um, yeah, I need to see how it looks on our glass, and probably, oh no, I can see it. Uh, in a more older version, you not been able. I mean, version of 3ds Max, you not been able to see uh, on the glass material any textures. So, so actually the size is oh well we need to apply some uvs because on the um, sides of each of the glass uh, the texture is um, stretched and that's not nice so uv box um, and make it smaller the size was actually good we should do kind of the same so probably it should be like super small 200 maybe a bit more like 300 Okay, let's try from the camera yeah I think that's fine but probably it's a bit too intensive I'm not so sure because it's too shiny okay let's first customize the uh, refraction so it won't be like super transparent um, select material and lower lower well first probably the color of reflection refraction we work with the glass so we work with refraction so it will be lower lower 
and we also can uh, lower glossiness and yeah probably even more oh, that's a bit too much maybe we should now <laughs> add some compression because uh, on this area i'm not able to see any glass because of overexposure um let me see will it help or not just yeah it helped but probably not this one compression because it's like just uh, filled with the color and that's not exactly what i wanted let's add um well, advanced mix uh, filmic and here you can find the shoulder strengths will uh, add some compression mm, no not helping much unfortunately still a lot of overexposure but well in this area it looks good at least should we keep this compression well yeah we can keep it a little bit okay what else we can do with this glass so it would looks better um glossiness on the refraction well we can try or not <laughs> maybe it will help um maybe oh uh, yeah since we have like black color on diffuse it will feel the black color when we uh, lower the um, refraction so we can uh, make the color a little lighter so the glass won't be that dark yeah that's nice let me come even more closer Ah, uh, yeah, bump is too strong. Uh, let me decrease it. So, 0 0.5. No, no, no. Well, now I can see <laughs> bump all over, everywhere. Maybe we should keep it. And <laughs> that's how you can reduce the overexposure on the glass. I'm kidding. And um, that's too strong. Okay, so 0 0.5, well, 6, fine. Let me see. Maybe even more lower. 4. And actually the texture is not uh, rectangular. Yeah, so we should not apply the same amount. Well, in case if you want to have this kind of pattern, it could be. If not, you can uh, change one of the sides. Which one? Probably that one, yeah. And it will be more or less the same. Okay, let me make it like 200, um, 400 and 200, so it will be a bit less. Smaller, I mean. And yeah, I really like how it looks on this area. Like, super cool. Actually, we can apply the black material for the handle. Can open it. Uh, another open. And where is our black material? Here is it. Can make it more metallic. But this area looks really cool. So, metalness, I'll add your Fresnel. And even like that, it looks nice. If you want to more detail it handle, you can apply some um, dirty map on reflection and it will add some more. Um, well, we can do that. Why not? I have some dirty maps here since we started to do that. Okay, let me add on reflection and just lower influence 50% or something so it won't be super visible, um, maybe even less, like slightly something, not all the same and looks cool. Actually, I don't want to customize more this 
Uh, glass. It looks good. I don't think we should do anything with that. Well, we can uh, always uh, make more complicated material if you need it, like at some dirty maps, at in some parts more, um, more transparent, uh, not that straight. But I'm sure, uh, since you are uh, watching our workshop all the time, you definitely know how to do that. Um, for example, like we did, um, oh, actually we haven't did it today, but for example, you can use a composite map uh, on... Um, actually no probably in this case you will need to change to material layered mtl like we did for example this tool uh, but apply some mask and customize two materials one will be first one and the second one for example will be more transparent apply the mask and the black color will be for the one material and the white will be for another material and by the mask in some of the areas of this glass you will get some different uh, transparent um, areas and it adds extra detailed uh, material extra detail to your scene and always try to add some um, little details in each of your materials and it will gives you a perfect result well that, so far i hope you enjoyed this workshop um, i will render this picture um, so we will see it more clearly without uh, the noise uh, also you can try and work on different um, cameras for example like I show you in the very beginning uh, of the workshop like different frames for the um, bedrooms for example something like that maybe uh, this one but probably from the other angle since we have a window on the other side um, maybe you can uh, move closer doors or for the camera or close the doors and do um kind of this frame and try different one more close-ups like show the uh detail this kind of area like create the camera but uh keep in mind that if you do some close-up better to customize um narrow angle of the camera not wide um for close-ups is the best way to customize with the narrow angle of the camera. What do I mean? I mean the focal millimeters like in um, photo camera. If you do some uh, photography, you definitely know what to do. Uh, so, for example, 50 is like the same as you see in real life. If you uh, make it closer, it will be more narrow. If you look at the top view, you can see that the angle of the camera is smaller and this one is wider wide we don't need for close-up so it can be something like that and even this one shot is already um ready you can move it on the other side show this part you can move like that you can lift your camera up a bit so up to you what exactly you want to show for example uh this kind of shot this kind of shot you can rotate it well, in this case, you will need to cut the wall. So I'm going to the settings, enable, and well, probably I need a bigger amount. So it will be 1000. So here is a frame. And you can, well, in this case, you will need to customize more materials and, well, add some <laughs> window. But uh, for some of the scenes, could be this frame like where you will move the camera there will be frame and it looks nice if you want to show more of your bedroom you can set it up i don't need door i can delete it i can change the angle of the camera probably in this case a bit wider and if i want more details uh, less cut of the camera, more of the focal, and you can see some details of the uh, fabrics of your of your bed, or if you want to show your armchair, you can 
move your camera to the armchair and just show this area. So a lot of shots you can customize just in one room and they all will be um, super good. But if you do close ups, you need to very closely work with details of your um, objects. But so far I'm back into main camera and I need to add some settings. You can start to prepare your questions uh, if you have it and I will reply and answer them soon. So I just need some denoising. Uh, the size of the picture probably I'll increase it a bit so it will be for example 2500 uh, better to set like um, the biggest size like from 3000 3500 uh, but so far as I want to make it like super fast so I'll set 2500 and here we go but if you enjoy this workshop don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel uh, but also if this information is not enough and you want to know more or if you want more detailed learning we have a course for beginners uh, who just started or who want to uh, customize and uh, set up all the knowledge that you have um, the start is very soon like 14 of november and we will have everything we'll uh, work on this entire we'll customize uh, from the very beginning we'll um, do everything according to the plan we'll build the walls we'll build the uh, doors uh, panels uh, floor everything um, some of the model not too complicated since uh, modeling takes a lot of time but the basic of the models i will show you i will start from very beginning from the viewport i'll show you the buttons that you have that you need to use the instrument that you should use for the modeling for the lighting uh, for materials because we will do from the very beginning and we'll uh, finish with the main final render and do post-production of the final render so you will do it by yourself everything without any help from my side <laughs> kidding i will help you with um <laughs> answering your question and show you the stuff that you probably uh, won't understand or you want to know learn more uh, so we will do uh leave classes like we did today on workshop but it will be um just for the group who will join this course we will have uh 16 lessons in general so we uh we will work hard and this course is very intensive if you want to learn first uh, we will have four uh, lessons per week um, for leave lessons also I will um, check all your homeworks every day during weekdays and uh, so you will get super fast comments to your work and improve it till the next lesson or further if you don't have time also we do have records of all our lessons so you can watch it whenever you want uh, you can join the online class or you can watch it later if you don't have no time for now so for example we had like beginners 12 and he was like 16 lessons and the comments for the homework it also video i watch all your homeworks and do the comments uh, so i will point all the areas that you need to improve uh, you will apply your uh, works and here is the album of the works of the students and you can see the all the process of its work so it was like almost final almost final some little correction and if you click here you can see some basic modeling you can see the setup the scene you can see oh, a lot of these vases another vases a lot of vases some of the furniture modeling so a lot of that we had in the scene we were modeling and then customize all the scene uh, customize the camera uh, work with lighting uh, work with all materials and eventually in the very end you got the final result 
So that's the work of the student and you can compare with the reference and see how uh, it looks. Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? And most of the people with the result is really satisfied and a lot of people not, cannot believe that they made it by yourself because you do it by yourself with your hands, with all your own instruments, with all your time. You put your heart to this work and you should be satisfied with the result because it's really cool and also will customize different frames for it. Uh, some of it you can see here, some of them you can customize by yourself, uh, find different angles, find different areas uh, that you want to see. And also you can apply all these works after all in your portfolio and show to other people. So it should be a uh, really nice and interesting journey uh, on this course and this is our team you can uh, read about this uh, course um, by the link that Anna sent uh, into the chat and you can see the problem program we will learn a lot of um, different topics uh, also we will have chat in Discord uh, where will be closed group and we will answer all your questions if you will have like straight away um, as much as we can. Uh, usually it can be even in night, in day, in morning. As, as as far as we can see your question, we will answer it and you won't stuck on one place and uh, able to continue working on your project. So if you want to join and if you want to learn more, if you want to learn more detailed, if you want to just start to learn um, this course for you. If you also do some projects already, but still not super confident with uh, all the stuff that you do, it also will be good for you because I will um, tell you one step after another. Uh, the stages that you should apply, the instrument that you should uh, use, and it will form in some normal knowledge that you will apply to your future projects. Um, so if you want, you can apply and the start, it will be super soon. And here you can see the works of our student that already uh, done and finished the course with their own uh, works. They did it by themselves. Also, you can read some reviews um, or from different people and apply if you want to. And our um, co-workers will wor uh, phone you, um, answer your questions if you will have, if you're not sure, uh, do you want to join, if it's good for you, if you have any questions they will answer it and tell you more detailed about this program and the start will soon and we'll do uh, cool stuff here and after all you got beautiful diploma for yourself if you finish um, your final work so if you want to create this beautiful interior and put it in your portfolio join the course and i'll show you how to do it with all super extremely detailed explanation of everything because as you can see on the workshop i'll do it super fast and just click 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 um i'll do some explanation but probably not that much as you want it on the course it will be super explained everything so if you want join and welcome and we will start soon. Uh, Anna send you a links again uh, to the chat if you uh, miss them and you can join. And I'll go to your questions now. Uh, great tips. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, where to get reference to create portfolio? Uh, well, there are a lot of different sites so for example i love the est living uh, site i love um, um boom, 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 boom. dwell is also good um archi daily daily style uh, ar that's not what i wanted archi daily also but uh be careful because they um add visualization as well so make sure that it's photo always better to create uh, your portfolio according to the photo not on the visualization so this one i love um the value is good i know it's not loading 
um, also it has a lot of uh, good project Archidele. So and also Dizen um, had a lot of no, not this one. D Zen, yeah, this one also really good with really good project and also you can select architecture you can select the interior and find uh, the one that you want to do so search on um, these sites are cool Uh, what do you see? 3D RFEs industry hating, see more and more the implement of Unreal Engine. Yeah, Unreal Engine is uh, doing good stuff, but you... Mm, so far you're not able to get uh, such a um, realistic result in Unreal Engine uh, in RFEs in visualization. But yeah, if you need to fast real-time rendering, it works really cool. Uh, but also you can do some animation in 3ds Max as well, but probably you will need to use uh, some uh, GPU renders um, For example like F storm um, So it will render way faster, but yeah, it's different um, lines of the 3d um, RVs so one way is showing like super uh, real-time render another one show you super realistic render up to you uh, what exactly you want to uh, do or you can do both if you are able to learn it all uh, Unreal Engine is super cool instrument um, and it has some future so as 3ds Max is just different uh, ways uh, to do it Uh, does filmic and tone curve fil uh, filter come with Corona 9? Uh, because I can add them in Corona 7. Um, I believe it it comes in Corona 8 in previous version. Uh, it start to uh, be uh, yeah. Tone curve is not able there, but also you can add some uh, curves. For example, well, it won't be like extremely the same result, but you can customize with that as well. So actually, we can add something here too. For example, a little lighter, a bit more contrasted, and yeah, looks fine, but probably now too much of the color uh, can lower white balance a bit and um, maybe saturation just a bit lower. Yeah, and I think it looks cool. Actually, this is our final, uh, still a bit of the noise. Well, 3%. If I'll click on the noising, it will disappear fully, I think. Uh, but I hope you enjoy uh, this result. I think it looks uh, really, really nice. Ah, <laughs> PC configuration. You can watch every single workshop and you will find it in the end. So my PC configuration is... Uh, Ryzen 9 um, and 34 uh, RAM, that's all. Uh, but as I said in every single workshop that you don't need that strong if you want to start, so it can be um, not that super powerful, it can be lower, you can uh, try um, in what you have and then if you will be sure that you want to continue uh, joining your 3D world, then you can update your computer to more powerful and get exactly what you want. Uh, please make one video on modeling. <laughs> You can be more specific because modeling, like it's a huge area. I can model a table in five minutes. I can model the armchair in um, one hour. I can model table in, I don't know, depends. All depends. Like it can be like classic um, modeling can be um, different. So modeling is like super huge. Uh, them and if it's complicated it can take hours and hours and hours um, so maybe we'll do some modeling but probably not too complicated so it will be like one or two hours at least not more of it okay 
Well, where to get good clients? Good clients, well, <laughs> you need to work with different kind of uh, clients to uh, understand which one is good for you, because it all depends. Uh, but, well, anywhere, it can be freelance uh, sites, it can be uh, from recommendation of your friends or of the clients from freelance sites, it can be, um, it can be on the... Uh, studio where you worked uh, it can, there can be good clients and then you can uh, work by their recommendation with other good clients but probably you won't find them in some um, bar uh, for 3d graphic so you need to try different resources to find good clients but definitely there will be different kind of especially at the beginning Why use uh, bitmap instead of Corona bitmap? Um, well, the main reason probably because I get used to it. Uh, I just select and select. But uh, other reason, when you drag the map from the folder, it immediately become a bitmap. And if you want to convert to Corona bitmap, you need to click, right click, change it to Corona bitmap. And like it's extra movements, but it's the same map. It not giving you extra specification or settings or it doesn't make your picture beautiful it's all the same it's the same bitmap the same as corona color correction color correction is kind of similar instrument and you can both of them use mm, all depends what exactly you want to get all depends uh, what you get used to i think that's one but that's the reason uh where to find real reference not images i just show uh different sites and you can find more you can go to pinterest uh, you can search some pictures uh follow the sites uh, where they was uploaded from and search for different reference uh, photos and check that it's photos you can um, upload the picture in google um, and check different resources and see if it uh, shows that it's photo or it's 3d so check and you can find a lot of different references And just Google it. You need to tell you everything. <laughs> well, Google, yeah, also good. Uh, Irene, I think from now it's best to put a PC specification in the description so you don't have to explain it every time. Huh? Uh, <laughs> well, probably, but, but I believe that nobody's read the description to the video, uh, just the links that I put. Well, I can set like huge uh, letters and this my specification of the computer, but I don't think that somebody will read it. I notice you always do color before texture. Where do you get the inspiration from? Which tones to use? Uh, well, uh, the images that I'm using for workshops, I'm doing from the reference. So uh, the main experience is from the reference. Uh, reference for this bedroom was, uh, let me show you. So it was this bedroom. And you can see I made some uh, changes the bed is not the same uh the door is not the same but uh the same uh feeling the same um um mood i keep it in our um in our render so as i said you need to always search for reference for your beautiful um projects I have really heard many people talking about Arfis and Corona, but the best is on this channel. Thank you. Um, go to your city house and... 
to showrooms yeah actually the it's a good advice to go to the showrooms where the furniture um um, fabrics are showing their their furniture also it's uh, cool to take a picture of it so you will learn how to set nice frame of the furniture so yeah it's really good advice have you or daniel thought of writing a book on, on archives um, i don't think so definitely not me maybe daniel will do that someday uh, but i don't think that it will be soon uh, unfortunately i don't speak i think it's spanish okay so since the questions are ending almost ending okay um we can stop it and i hope you enjoy it don't forget to like this video um subscribe our channel and join next workshop that we will do for you so i was uh, really ha happy to see you all here and i hope you uh, come to the next one and don't forget that you can apply to the course if you want to learn more about it um, with all the details so have an amazing evening day night uh, whatever you have and see you next time uh, bye bye